Guys, welcome back to the channel, Racer X here, and I am in Austin, Texas today. A very special video, one I've been trying to get in for like six months. Have a very special guest to the channel today. She is a world-class athlete, a world-class pole vaulter, matter of fact, two-time Olympian. And uh, I've been trying to get her on the channel, but today it's going down, and she's gonna take a ride in the 1,000 plus horsepower Mustang. It should be a good one. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. I'd really appreciate it, and off we go. And there she is. It is Miss Annika Newell. And uh, obviously, like, you know, we've been kind of texting back and forth a little bit before you went to the Olympics. And obviously, I was just a big supporter and fan of yours. And I cannot tell you, I was I was just super proud of what you did there. I know it was, it's, it's tough, but you did a great job and, and super proud. But I just want you to tell everybody at home, basically, like, you know, what you do for a living and, uh, and, and tell us a little bit about your athletic background as well. Um, well, let's see. I'm a professional pole vaulter, and let me just say I appreciate all the support that you gave me throughout the Olympics. That was so helpful to me. Um, I love it when I receive support from other people. It really helps me, boosts me, all that kind of good stuff. Um, so yeah, for a living, I pole vault. Welcome home. It may see you made me stronger than I'd be Superman if I fly around the world. It wouldn't take me longer than it would to be your man. I've been pole vaulting for 11 years now, and I've been to Olympics twice, 2016 in Rio, and 2020 in Tokyo. That is and awesome. I'm preparing for 2024 in Paris. That is fantastic. And, and not to mention, you do work with kids too, right? Yes, I'm a full-time coach. Um, my youngest kid is eight years old training, and my oldest that I coach is 65. And the so great- I got the whole range. <laughs> that's perfect. And the great thing is, is like you're, even though you, you so you vault for Team Canada. I do. Right? But you also live and train in Texas. I do. Which is my home state, right? So so that's how I was able to get a hold of you. And I'm like, hey, she's a Texan. That's awesome. So I had to support you, even though you vaulted for Canada. It was easy to support you. And you did a fantastic job, as always. And you're getting ready for the upcoming season, right? Yes, I am. So even though it's not the Olympics, you're still doing training all year round. Yeah, no, it's still um, very intense training because there's still world championships, which is to track athletes pretty much equally as crazy as the Olympics. It just doesn't have the same title. Right. So we still do the same training. So so here's the next thing that I want to ask you is, uh, I know you, you're you not like, you're somewhat of a car person. You like fast cars, right? I like fast cars. You're an adrenaline junkie like me. Yes. So I think that we have that in common. But So what do you know about this car, about my car? Do you know anything about it? I know that um, it's got a really nice engine that you <laughs> okay. uh, somewhat built and your sponsors helped you with. They did, yeah. And uh, yeah. it's going to take me really fast today. Well, we'll see. I mean, you just never know what might happen. So so this car is my kind of flagship car for the channel. It is a twin turbo Mustang. Um, but you know what? You won't have to see because I know you've been in some fast cars before. <laughs> being a car fan, being an adrenaline person, somebody who's skydiving and all sorts of fun stuff, like we could just add this to the repertoire. But we'll see. And who knows? Maybe like, maybe you can drive it. <laughs> Oh, she's like, well, okay. hey, why not? So yeah, there she goes. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna hop in, go for a quick run, and we'll see what you think about the car. Sounds good. So all right, have you been in a Mustang before? Um, yes, one of the basic ones. One of the basic ones, like a V six, <laughs> or was it like V eight Mustang GT or? Oh, GT, yeah. So that's what this is. It's just okay. your standard run of the mill little Mustang GT. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing crazy to see. So, but what we're gonna do now is we're gonna basically downshift and we're gonna basically give it just a little bit of boost and you can kind of tell me what you think. And uh, it's a good setting to do it. So we went ahead and went down to the border in Mexico, believe it or not. Velocidad, Mexico wasn't that far from Austin, trust me guys. And uh, that is where we're gonna do all these speed runs. Nothing super crazy. So uh, anyway. Not too bad? No, let's go again. <laughs> you want to go again? We can do it. Okay. So 
that was about uh, that was about eight pounds of boost. So okay. these turbos will actually make about thirty pounds of boost. So we're not even like a not third. even scratching the surface of what the car can do, but okay. it's still fun to do it. got done doing three or four pulls um I don't, what did you think so far like do you I like the car it. yeah i loved it your first like turbo <laughs> car you've got to go in right so yes. it's like it built speed and i was telling her we got up to a pretty decent speed i won't tell you what it was but but uh anyway you uh for your first time in a turbo car you're impressed oh my gosh yes that's an understatement for sure so now are you ready to drive it i'm ready to drive it She's down. So we're going to let her drive it and see what her thoughts are on driving it because it is completely different when you're sitting over here. So we'll see how it goes. Right, so now we have switched spots. She is driving the car and uh, she's like a pro already. So right now what I'm doing is I'm trying to work with her on downshifting to get into the sweet spot for the turbos. So, uh, so go ahead and downshift a little bit. Get on oh. and let those turbos eat a little okay. bit. Okay, okay, okay. You, you were in the boost, but you come out. 
I can feel you sort of let out a I little know, bit. I know, I know. And not stay with it, and then, but then you stayed with it. So that was much better that time. Good job. So we went ahead and upped it to boost setting three. We're gonna let her get one pull in a boost setting three and see if she can uh, see, if, see how you do. <laughs> so you're doing good. Like just keep it nice and smooth all the way through. So nice and smooth all the way through. So go ahead and get your downshifts in. That is it. We got several boosted pulls in. Um, I mean, so what do you think about the car? You, the first time you've had to drive it, you did fantastic. I was actually pretty impressed. You got that thing up to like, what, 11 pounds of boost and uh, pretty good speed. We won't say what it was, but she got rolling pretty darn good. So what, what are your impressions? I, I'm just so overwhelmed right now. That was so sick. I can't <laughs> wait to brag to everybody. I am going to maybe steal the car. She's, <laughs> she's going to steal the car. <laughs> I'm walking back to Dallas, guys. But uh, it's been a fun one. I am so glad we finally got a chance to, like, sync up. You had, like I said, you had the Olympics. You had all the stuff going on. And you've just been very busy. But we finally got to sync up. And you got to see the result. We had a good time. Yes, as as time. was expected. So I really appreciate the time. Hopefully, we'll get a chance to do this again here in the near future. We need to. We Absolutely. Need to. Also, mem remember to uh, check out her Instagram. What is your Instagram again? One more time. FlyGirl93. And there's her hat. FlyGirl93. So go check her out on Instagram. She's got a pretty good Instagram following, guys, and uh, also support her. Uh, she's got the Olympics coming up in a few years, and she's out there doing the meets and stuff like that, and uh, she is really, really good, guys. One of the best female pole vaulters in the world. So I am stoked. It's been a fun one, guys. We'll catch you on the next one. So for Racer X, Veronica Newell.